But then when I got to a point in my transition where I'd become a black man and things got real on that level, I didn't have a community. So again, I'm looking for community in my transition. You know, th those guys would come in there and they have great stories about, hey, my mom just gave me money for top surgery and, you know, I got my date set. And I'm like, wow, I, I don't know how I'm going to get top surgery. My mom definitely doesn't have it. You know, I would see those those differences in the in the privileges, whether it be, you know, financial ability to transition or even just the social transition. Again, I'd hear guys come and say, yeah, I was, uh, you know, the, the guy came to fix the plumbing today and, you know, he's referring to me as sir and he gave me so much respect and, you know, and I went to the store and they were, yes, sir, no, sir. And I got so much respect and, you know, they would talk about advancing into a place of privilege now that they were this, this wonderful white man in America, you know, versus just seen as, you know, a little white lady or whatever the case may be. And I couldn't relate to that. All of my privilege was the little privilege that I had was absolutely stripped away. And I had no idea how to deal with it or, or anyone to talk to about it. You know, I could talk to other my my other male friends who were cisgender black men about, man, this is you know messed up. Have you endured this or what do you do in that case? But then even still, at the end of the day, I had black trans man problems and issues. You know what I mean? And I was desperate for community. And so that's that's when Black Trans Men Inc. pretty much was founded in 2011. I got on Facebook. I never had a Facebook account, but I heard this thing called Facebook was really great <laughs> for meeting people. And so I got on Facebook and I created a private group called Black Trans Men. And the amount of people that migrated to the group was absolutely phenomenal. I want to say within the first week, we probably had about 500 men join the group from all over the country. And that was absolutely phenomenal. You know, I, 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 for me, it was another level of healing in my journey to know that, you know, I'm at, you know, this is pretty much the end of my identity development so far as the labels go anyway, right? Um, and to know that I, I'm not actually alone because again, I, at the beginning of my journey, I lived stealth or non-disclosure, as some would say, from 2001 until 2011. I didn't, I wasn't actually out as trans until, you know, starting the organization. And, you know, I wasn't stealth so much by choice, but by default, simply because I didn't know anyone else. You know, I could stand out and say, you know, hey, I'm transgender, but what good would it do just me alone? You know, and who do I turn to to help me fight this battle? You know, so finding other black trans men was very important to me. Um, and it was wonderful to see that it was important to so many other men. Um, and the the um, the community and the unity that was displayed um uh, from creating that group has been you know, profoundly impactful for generations to come. Um, and we decided to blossom from social media group or you know, social media support into to forming an actual organization. Because once I began to chat with these guys, the other black trans men in the group, you know, the initial um, dating of it, I would say was was, you know, a wonderful high just to know, you know, wow, look at all these beautiful men who are like me. And then just to see the, you know, the diversity of men. Oh, wow, this guy, you know, I didn't even know, you know, I could look like that. Or I had no idea that there were other gay or, or that there were gay trans men. Or I had no idea that there were older trans men than I am, you know, and things like that. You know, that was really great to see. But then I also started to know them personally and the struggles that they went through. Um, was often, you know, more challenging than what I had gone through. And I just felt like someone really needs to help these guys. Um, you know, they're, they're not only going through the same things that I'm going through, but other things. And, and, you know, we're all having a hard time finding community. We're all having a hard time connecting to those resources. Um, and so I want it to be the, the, um, the foundation for that. You know, I want it to be the foundation for connecting black trans people and empowering them 
was self-pride and self-acceptance. I wanted to be the person to, or the organization that can connect them with the resources that are trustworthy because we've actually, you know, um, spoken with whoever we're connecting them with, whether it be a medical provider or, or you know, even just someone to mentor them. Um, I just really saw the importance of uh, all the things that community can offer and all the things that I needed as a Black trans man. And I wanted to um, extend those things um, to the to the Black trans community abroad. And so I'd say we all kind of created this community together um, all at once. <laughs>